these are the parts and tools you will need to replace the seats on a Mark 707. The disc guide, the disc, the plate, a 7 16 wrench, and a half inch wrench, and a torque wrench that measures up to 200 inch pounds with a 9 16 socket. This is how to disassemble the valve to change out the seats for a Mark 707. Torque your bolts. When removing the cap, hold, put your finger inside and hold the plate down to remove your cap so it doesn't stick to it and drop out. Set the cap aside. Move the plate. Be careful the disc doesn't stick to it and fall off. Set that aside onto a clean surface. Move the disc. Set aside. Move the disc guide. First step is to locate the disc guide. The one side will have a small hole in it, which holds the index pin. Take some of the NICs, brush a light coat on the opposite side of that small hole. The hole goes towards this side of the body for reverse acting. Drop it in and line up your window. You want this window to be as close to straight up and down as possible. Grab your plate, one shiny side, the other has a dull side with the identification of the CV. Again, apply a thin coat of anti-seize on the ceiling surface, on the non-shiny side. Set down in the cap, make sure it creates a nice seal, which it does. Apply a few drops of 3-in-1 oil or a lightweight oil to the disc. onto the plate. Make sure it slides back and forth. No hesitation. Don't feel any pickups. Smooth. Take the disc off. There's an arrow on the disc. The arrow points towards the index pinhole of the disc guide. Stall into your valve body. Find your index pin. Be careful not to lose it, it's very easy to lose. Stall. Take your plate, shiny side down, index pin hole. Until it drops in. At this point, you want to try to line up your seats so that you can see the windows. Take your cap. Install, go straight down. Once it's down, do not move because it'll throw it out of alignment. Install the two nuts onto the studs. Run down evenly to where they just touch. Put in the remaining bolts. Same process, run down to they just touch. Get your torque wrench. We start with 50 inch-pounds and progressively work our way up to 200 inch-pounds using a star torque pattern. I'm 
100 inch pounds, 150 inch pounds, finally 200 inch pounds. It is now complete. If you look inside, the valve should be in full adjustment. If you look at the bottom slot, you should see no disc above or below the slot. I will actuate it up to show you closing. Here it is opening again.